Hey everybody, so we're going to walk through how to extract an email from your order confirmation page and then send it over to your conversion tracking tag to enable your conversion tracking tag to uh, be set up with enhanced conversions. So let's do that here. Here's the, uh, the sample order confirmation page. I'll link that in the description. And on this sample order confirmation page, we have an email. So what I will do is I will right click on anywhere in this red section, and you can walk through this as well, but I will, I will click on inspect. I'll click on console. I'll scroll up so the email is visible. I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to click on a Chrome extension that I made. The link for this is also in the description, but I'm going to click on this Chrome extension after I highlight the email. And what this is going to do is it's going to write JavaScript for me to be able to extract the email from the web page. Now let's see if it did it. So we're going to say, uh, we're going to right click this first bit of green text here, paste this into the console to test. So we're going to right click it, highlight it, right click it, click on copy, and then paste it into the console to test. Control V in my case. There it is. So it extracted it from the page with JavaScript and we successfully see it. So it's echoing perfectly fine. Test at test.com. Now it's also written for you a function to be able to paste directly into Google Tag Manager. So now that we know that it works, we can highlight the function. This is nice because there's no code necessary. It's writing the code for you. So click on copy and then go over to Google Tag Manager. Find your conversion tracking tag. In this case, here's mine. Google adds conversion tracking tag. Okay. So it's set up for retail and I've got a conversion value and all that stuff. But to make this, an enhanced conversion tracking tag, or to add enhanced conversions, I should say, to this tag, you click on this checkbox here, include user provided data from your website. Click on that. And right now we don't have a variable, so we'll have to create a variable using, using this code here that the Chrome extension generated for us. So let's go over here and we'll click on this drop down after we checked on this box. And we'll click on, we'll click on new variable. Okay, <clears throat> so it's going to be email. Remember, it was test at test.com, so we're going to click on new variable. Email from order confirmation page. So I just gave it a descriptive title there, and I'm going to click on variable configuration. Okay, and I'm going to look for Hmm. Custom JavaScript. And I'm going to just paste that green text. There it is. Remember, so I highlighted it here for use in a GTM custom JavaScript variable. And then I pasted it in a custom JavaScript variable and I called it email from order confirmation page. I'm going to hit save. All right. So I only have email and, you know, at a base level, you should have at least one, the more, the better though. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to have email. Okay. And we have to actually call this something too. So we'll call it, I don't know, we'll call it enhanced conversions. And then save. Perfect. So we've got our trigger as well. We're going to hit save. And we're going to hit submit. Great. Publish. You know, a good digital marketer will fill in a name and a description and all that stuff so you can track changes. But again, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to hit continue. Wonderful. 
Now we're good to go from an implementation perspective. I recommend testing everything, but I just want to show you guys how it's done using the Chrome extension to extract the email from the page and then setting it up in Google Tag Manager. Thanks very much.